Hello, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. Today I have a little bit of a tutorial slash idea, I guess, that I can't wait to share with you. I have, first I, or I want to show this Happy Mail in just a minute because it kind of all goes together, but I've been working with some butterfly kits from Ellie Wilder, Elsie Bell's Bookshelf. Her links are below so you can purchase her digitals or um, journals or other things that she sells. But I want to talk about making a junk journal or making journals without the tea dyed or coffee dyed ivory kind of papers, a little bit more of a bright look. And so I just want to talk about some tips with that because either sometimes we don't want to use those colors, something we sometimes we want something brighter, sometimes you know we don't have the time to do the coffee dyeing, and you can still make a journal that is just as beautiful and just as amazing um, as you know one of the more traditional vintage looking ones. Um, I've noticed in some of the groups lately, someone was saying something about. I noticed a comment where someone said, do you think the trend of junk journals is going more towards these bright and white colors and away from the vintage? And no, I don't think it is. But I made a comment that I want to share with you, and that is the, they were asking, what is the future of junk journals? I truly believe that the future of junk journals is whatever we make it to be. That means we can do a vintage grungy one one day, and we can do bright and crisp and colorful the next and it is whatever we want it to be. So, um, pardon my filthy nails. I have printer ink and everything else all in them. My hands are always a mess. But we're going to work with this kit. So, um, here's some of the ephemera. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Let's get onto what I've decided to do for the pages. This is not part of the kit. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. I think I need to get down to the bottom. Okay, here's some of the pages. I used two different butterfly kits. She has two different butterfly kits. And so I printed double-sided, and I used the borderless setting. But look at those beautiful colors. And it would pair really well with um, coffee or tea dyed, but I wanted to go bright. So here's these. So many layers and elements. Very, very beautiful. So they're pretty much done and ready to go. I'm just going to fold them in half. There's not really anything, you know, I've printed them double-sided. That's how I've prepared them for the journal. So there's obviously eight different pages represented here. I didn't print everything, just the ones I wanted for the journal. And I'm not going to be making the whole journal in this video, just working on some of the pages. So there's four here. And then what I've done, these are scans from a vintage book on butterflies, and I thought they were really neat. And so I printed that. I think I was trying to um, print double-sided and my printer messed up, but that's okay. And then I'm going to trim it down, and I think I can just use scissors for this. I could use a paper trimmer as well, but I'm going to just trim off the extra white. I could leave it. I just sometimes like different sized pages. So I guess this is kind of a craft with me um, and just ideas, not as much a tutorial. And so then here on the inside, I'm going to leave that marbled pink strip, but I'm going to do some stenciling. I think stenciling is a wonderful option um, for pages. Here we go. So I have this butterfly and dragonfly stencil. As you can tell, I've used it a lot. It's really grungy, but it still works. And I have pink and blue ink, and I'm going to do some pink. And I'm just going to stencil on a couple of butterflies. And what this does is make it makes this page look planned. So it doesn't look like I just threw I just left the white printer paper, but that I actually planned for it to be this color scheme. 
Now that is really cute and ready to go. So I'm going to set that here. And then what I have here, this is just printed um, off of, I think it was Pixabay. It was either Pixabay or Pixel Scrapper. But it's just a black printed on white. And then the other side is white. There's a lot of things we can do with this. Um, I'm actually going to leave this because I will put ephemera and things. So we're just going to work on the inside. And I'm going to use this. And I don't clean my sponge in between. I'm okay if the colors kind of mix together. To me, it's a junk journal and I, don't, I do not go for perfection. So the pink that was on it mixed with the blue is giving me this purplish pink effect. I'm going to need to replace the sponge on this pretty soon because it is starting to fall apart. You can use whatever stencils you have and you could use a spray ink on it if you didn't want to use um, an ink pad. There we go. So I kind of have the butterflies flying almost in formation off the page. So that's how I'm going to leave this one. This one is just like the other one. Okay, so what I've done here is printed double-sided vintage book pages. And then on this side, I printed a pink marbled background that I got off of Pixabay. If you've never checked out Pixabay, they are free images that are um, for commercial use and they're attribution free, which means you never have to worry about actually saying, I got this from Pixabay. I just do that because I like to share the, the um, knowledge and the site with everybody else so they can use it too. Um, there's a lot of different images on there and they're not all perfect for use in junk journals, but I have definitely found a lot that are. And this side, this is where the printer messed up and you got that strip on the other side. So I am going to let's see, fold this over just a little bit so the butterflies show a little bit and make a little tuck spot side pocket here. Or, yeah, tuck spot. Let me see if my glue wants to work today. I have a love-hate relationship with Fabri-Tac. It is super useful, but it's not always ready to go. Today it is, so yay. So now I can tuck some ephemera or something into there. So that page is ready and I'm setting it aside. I have two, um, these are eight by eights. I have a pink and a blue cardstock. I buy these from Tuesday morning. I haven't seen any recently, but they often have cardstock packs in different sizes for very good price. I think a huge stack like that thick was like four bucks. So whenever you see it, definitely stock up on it. And then what I'm gonna do here is along the edge of the pink, I'm gonna ink on some blue and it's gonna kind of look purple, but just adding a little depth here. I have not planned this out ahead. I'm just taking each page in stride and whatever um, inspires me at the second whatever, however I want it to look is what I'm doing. All right, so I've done that. And I'm gonna set that aside because I'll do maybe stamping or clipping an ephemera or adding other things later on. And so then on the blue, I'm going to ink on pink. OK, 
Okay. Did I, oh, I didn't get this side. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. All right, and so now what I've also done here is three pages that are just white presentation paper. So normally this is where I would use the coffee dyed paper, but I'm going to use plain white paper. And then I'm gonna continue my whole um, stencil idea here. Now I'll be clipping and adding more things in later, not in this video, I'm just preparing the pages in ephemera. But um, I will do a completed flip through video of this when the journal is done. So you'll be able to see the rest of the choices that I have made. <laughs> so I've just made sure there's some butterflies on each side and I'm going to set that one aside go to my next one and let's pull the blue back out There are also dragonflies on here, but I'm trying to not use those. I could. It's a junk journal. You can put on whatever you want. That is definitely something that I love about junk journals. A lot of times I get, oh, I'm doing a butterfly journal. I can't add anything else. And then I'll watch a video of someone else's journal, and they will add so many things in a themed journal, and it will totally inspire me to let go just a little bit more and just go with art. That being said, I'm still not adding dragonflies. Alright, I'm gonna... Ellie sent me some happy mail, and I will show that at the end of this video. So beautiful. I've been watching, um, I've been communicating with her or, you know, watching her journey as a junk journal artist for a while now. And she has just upped her game. I mean, she's always had beautiful work. And I purchased one of her journals that, and I have, I have a couple of her journals. And I absolutely love them. But, um, yeah, when you watch someone go from good to great, it is amazing. And the ephemera that she sent me is just so beautiful. I can't wait to share it with you, to show it to you. I received it yesterday and I thought, well, this is perfect timing since I was going to be filming a video. If you don't remember to turn the paper the other way and do the insides, then you'll have plain, but plain blank white pages that you will have to deal with later. And I don't think it's that big of a deal if you leave them plain white, especially in a journal that is more white themed. But I'm trying to add interest to the pages. Okay, so I think that all the pages are ready. Let me set that aside. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. And I have not made my cover yet, so it's a little hard for me to choose. But I think I want this to be the first page. And I'm just going to start building my signature, and then that is going to give me inspiration for my cover later on. All 
All right. So my signature is all together. And then on my own time, I will build a cover and decorate it and all of that. I am going to cut out the ephemera or some of it in this video just so you can see because I really want you to go to her shop and purchase these kits. With springtime coming, I am definitely on the lookout for happy, cheerful springtime kits and things like that to work with on journals. And maybe you are too. So I definitely think that her butterfly kits are perfect for springtime. Of course, in my opinion, butterfly journals should be used year round. They're so beautiful. I love nature. And while I'm doing this, I got really excited last night. I'll sh share this with you. Um, I don't have a link right now because I just saved it to my Pinterest so I wouldn't lose it. And hopefully I don't, hopefully talking about it will keep me from forgetting about it. Um, but I found, I was looking for vintage botanical books and wanting to repurpose some covers and things like that to make some beautiful journals. I have not been to my used bookstore, uh, local used bookstore in quite a while because it's about a 30, 35 minute drive and it is not a super kid friendly store. There's no real shopping carts and my kids would just be running the aisles, so I haven't haven't really um, gone recently. But, um, so I was looking online for some books, and I came across some, li a list of a whole bunch of different botanical artists, and you know me and nature and botanicals, so I'm really excited to just spend time digging into that. It's a real um, ton of information. I love to learn about new artists, and all of that. So I guess that was a sidetrack. I'm not really sure where that came from. <laughs> but anyway, I was talking about springtime and journal kits and somehow it made me think of that. Though the journal kit I am currently working on is um, fashion, vintage fashion themed. I'm not going to cut those buttons out right now. I'll cut them out later. I'll just set them aside. Get some trash out of here. And I think you guys will be excited for the fashion kit because I'm doing something I've never done before, and that is offer a bundle deal. There's two different kits, um, a female and a male, a feminine and a masculine fashion kit. And I'm going to offer them separately, but then I'm going to also offer them um, together as a bundle deal so you can save money if you buy both. But I'm sure Ellie can tell you or anyone else that you know on YouTube or Facebook that makes digital kits, um, they are addicting to make. There is something just so relaxing about making a digital kit and designing something. And then there's something so satisfying when other people buy it and use it and it gets made into so many different journals. And I just think it's so neat. And so... I love working with what Ellie made here. It's just beautiful. These colors are so bright and vibrant. I love this giant postage stamp. Can't wait to put it all together into a journal. Might take me several days to get it done because I am behind on orders. I had to do my taxes. Yay, that, that was not fun. And um, then my printer. If, if you work with digital kits, you know your printer is your right hand. And when it goes down, you go down. And my, my internet, for some reason, was super slow, was not communicating well with my printer. The printer was jamming. And I was trying so hard to get several orders out yesterday. And no, that just was not going to happen. I didn't even get one complete order printed in a couple hour period. So I stopped and I am really hoping that today it will be in a better mood and I can get many orders out. So if you're waiting for an order from me, do not worry. It will come. I am hoping to get totally caught up this week, but I can't believe it is already Tuesday. Crazy. 
All right, well, I could be here forever cutting out, not forever, but I could be here for another um, 10, 15 minutes cutting out ephemera. So I'm going to end the video here since you, look at these little kitty muddy paw prints. My cat loves to sleep on paper, on my papers and, and the surfaces and stuff. So look at, I'm just gonna show you the rest of these um, beautiful, beautiful images. And I have it all started, ready to go. Got my signature ready. So let me show you the happy mail from her because she doesn't just sell digital kits. She sells a lot of things in her shop. So I have two things here. This is, it looks like this is a journal cover or a fi big file folder. It says heart and soul, beautiful colors. And then she put a bunch of goodies in it. So these are some Reader's Digest business reply cards. Really neat. And then look at this, this um, little bag she, or folder she made. Her, just her collaging. So beautiful. And then there's a little coin pouch with little creatures in there and it looks like she's using gold thread i mean light bulb i would love to i need to buy some gold thread look at that, how beautiful that makes it look at that guest check oh so beautiful personal phone directory her collaging is so beautiful there's a little altered playing card how cute is that? And then here's an altered bingo card. I love this. So like woodland and forest and grungy. I think she just released a kit and she may be using some items from her kit. Like that. Ugh. Look at these appliques. She knows I love birds. That is going to make such a sweet bird journal. So that was one thing she sent. And then this big bag with some goodies in it as well. It's a Valentine's postcard. I don't see a date on it, but it's old. That is so cute. And then there's some like buttons and pins, some fabric scraps and beads. Beautiful. Just some pieces of ephemera and oh I love that pansy linens transfer it's an envelope there's a couple little mini transfers in here but that would be so pretty to put in a journal some vintage papers and letterheads so she sells journal supplies like these she sells um, sometimes she has kits sometimes she has um, yeah of course journals books. I bought a vintage book from her before. Look how pretty those are. So thank you so much, Ellie, for the happy mail. I love it. You guys need to go check out her shop. The link is down below. There is, um, if you scroll down, it says other shops that you should check out and her shop is listed. So please check it out. At the very least, just favorite it and go to her um, YouTube and subscribe. And then um, if you can make a purchase, if you can't make a purchase right now, then at least favorite it and come back when you're looking for unique journal supplies or a beautiful journal to write in. So thank you for watching this video. I will see all of you in the next one.